what is the status of current portugal immigration is this good time to go to portugal or still worst time is running because people waiting 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 and if good time will come when good time will come how much time migrants have to wait there are multiple news in the media social media because now currently portugal government is completely silent aima is completely silent and this is department of immigration is not telling future immigration plan because they are just waiting when their backlog will clear and they will be in a position to announce further immigration regarding article 88 article 89 i am not talking about the migrant whose cases are in process i am talking about the migrants who are inside portugal who are outside portugal and they are planning to move to portugal and they are just they just wanted to know when they can go and they will be able to file their immigration application and even people in portugal lot of people were left and they did not file their applications they are also waiting when the time will come they will be able to file their applications unfortunately immigration department of the portugal i uh, is completely silent because government uh, actually watching when they will be able to clear the backlog i would like to i would like to tell you all new immigration plan of portugal would be directly proportional to the backlog of applications as the backlog of applications will reduce automatically portugal government will announce their new immigration plan and they may open article 88 and article 89 as well so good news will come but still the eyes on the uh, are on the backlog of application actually little a bit mistake uh, coming from aima when they took charge from the saf what happened when they took charge they did not try to finish the backlog and at one time the emails were complete stuck and there were no emails coming there were no biometric interviews are going on and this actually actually uh, deteriorated the immigration system of the portugal when government uh, and new government came they they saw the backlog of applications were almost near 600000 migrants then they suddenly asked aima that why this backlog has been increased they told yes we can finish even aima committed when it aima took charge from the saf that we will finish this backlog urgently but unfortunately aima officers in my reports were not completely trained and currently also were currently in processing of immigration in current days as well if aima is not able to handle Uh, in quick time that is also due to non professionalism in the departments of the aima as the people of the saf were more trained than the aima aima was a uh, was a uh, giving a commitment that we are hiring saf officers they are training aima officers they were also uh, very confident that our officers are trained by i have saf officers and we will clear the backlog they were giving dates in different forums but those dates were not up to the mark and the targets i must set was not were not able to achieve this was the reason by which uh, i must was criticized by new government and uh, i will tell you it's worst time or good time i am giving you reason you will be able to develop your answer yourself even i will not tell you you will be able to understand it's good time or worst time to go to portugal that's why i am explaining all things so what happened i am told my new government that your criticism is okay your criticism is right we were not able to clear the backlog but they did not uh, took responsibility that's not the sin of i am they told that's not our mistake the mistake is that that saf did not process excessive app- applications and when they took us charge they gave us huge backlog second reason i am told to government that number of the applicants who are filing their immigration in article 88 in 89 those numbers on daily basis are increasing the backlog we try to clear the backlogs but unfortunately 
number of the applications becomes more therefore we, we are not able to create the balance and in the coming days this backlog will go up to 10 hundred thousand this was alarming numbers of IMA. You know why? Because new government knows that immigration software currently Portugal, which is using that can handle only 10 hundred thousand migrants. If it will exceed 10 hundred thousand migrants, the software will not be able to work and the processing which is currently going, it will also stop. Therefore, government suddenly closed Article 88, Article 89 and gave complete right to IMA. Mr. Aima, we are giving you one favor. We are closing Article 88, Article 89. Now you have to uh, finish the backlog of applications. Now, what is current status now? When government assessed Aima just month back, still backlog was around 350,000 to 400,000 are near 300,000. If I will say exactly numbers, it will be very difficult, but according to reports, it's between 300,000 to 400,000, which is still huge backlog of applications. Remember, new government is only watching how many people will get the resident card. If they will give resident card 400,000, then they will be able to announce their next immigration plan. According to new government, the current system is not working because it is creating the huge backlog on immigration department and it is really humiliation of the Portugal in outside the world as well because outside the world world immigration uh, uh, news there are a lot of uh, uh, biggest news that in Portugal is only country who is handling 600,000 backlog at the same time and that is the one of the main reason immigration department is not announcing new immigration plan and government is not announcing the new immigration system therefore they are just looking on it now current commitment uh, i did not see but just months back they were committing that they will finish before july 2025 and also uh, there is a there is you can analyze the emails also once again stopped it mean when they sent bulk of emails up to april 2023 now, the biggest uh, uh, step of immigration is the biometric interview. When they are going to conduct biometric interviews, now they are observing it's much difficult task because sending email, something else, and conducting biometric interviews, checking documents, verifying documents, something else, and also to pr process the TRC card, something else, because you have to analyze a lot of data. Therefore, now they are not sending next email. It means there is little stoppage in IMA now currently as well. That's why government just days back announced one task force which was inclusive of lawyers, inclusive of, inclusive of uh, uh, immigration officers of the SAF, immigration officers of IMA and that task force is motivating IMA finish the backlog at the earliest. Now it's good time or worst time. It's depending upon the backlog of applications. You keep watching news when they will say you that 100,000 backlog left. 100% guarantee they will announce immigration plan and further people they will allow to enter through Article 88, Article 89. They are just waiting when this backlog will clear and this backlog depending upon IMA which is uh, in my analysis very unpredicted department. Sometimes they commit but they did not fill up. They did not, uh, uh, they did not fulfill the commitment. Even they committed in front of parliament house that they are going to finish. But currently, speed of IMA is not at fast track now. Fast track was in the previous days, but now currently, emails stuck. It means biometric sessions are taking huge time. That's uh, numbers of biometrics, no doubt, are more. IMA was committing they will be able to handle the coming days will tell the story I will keep updating you keep watching world immigration news by Irfan thank you very much